My name is Paula. So since the time I confirmed that I will be able to make today's session and today, hey Wanu, hi. Um, I have since left AWS. They were tired of my bullshit. They're like, just be going. So I've added AWS to the long list of places I worked before now. So like Bio and Babajide, I'm also like a journeyman operator. So I've worked across multiple sectors. Um, I think my claim to fame is either Ventures Platform or Google, depending on when you join the internet. Uh, but very recently, I, I led a part of Amazon's business in Africa. Uh, and I will be talking about what is important to me in the work that I do, which is really communities. So I give this talk called Leadership for Real People. It, it's either a one-day talk, like full day, or two days, or seven days, depending on how bad your leadership needs help. And so I picked out a 10 to 15 minutes part of it. 65% of businesses that have died um, would typically tell you that the reason they die, and I'm not talking about the ones still alive trying to figure it out, but the reason they die is because of people-related issue. Now, this could either be the team assembly, it could be the structure of the founding team, the co-founders, or even just finding good people to work with them. So ex essentially what Babajide and, um, and Bio were talking about here, just finding people. In fact, I would argue that the most important part for most of you in the room as founders it's people. It's not the technology. It's not capital. Yes, I know some of you are looking at me like, guy, just give us money. All this stock is too much. But it's not capital, especially at this early stage. It's really finding people who are interested and who give a damn about what they're working on. And so a few years ago, I said, instead of all this tech, tech, tech stuff, I was a typical tech guy. I was writing software. I was doing infrastructure. How about I spend time talking about communities? And so that's what I do today. Now, in forming team, the expectation that we have is that it will be up and to the right. You know, standard, you start your team, and effectiveness over time will be up and to the right. But the reality, instead, is that we have this dream, this perfect dream of how the team would look. And this is how we execute. Like this. We get to the point where our expectation in our mind doesn't match the reality. Now, the first chart I grew, we expect it to go from you know, left to right, bottom to top. But the reality is, this is how it actually goes. Most teams go through these four stages of team development. It's the forming, the forming, the storming, the norming, and the performing. Forming is when you essentially come together as a team and say, hey, we like this. You hire the person, you know, let's discuss. And then the storming happens and your effectiveness drops. You see Bio talking, I've, I've heard that story. In fact, I think I even know the person who started work and left after lunch, said, I'm coming quickly, I'm coming now, 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 and disappeared. So most people can drag out that storming phase either one week, I think most people enjoy the first week of work, or one year or two years, or even longer in some cases. But effectively, what tends to happen is if you wait it out and you work with people, you will get to the norming phase and then you get to the performing phase. Not every story is a love story. And so in some cases, it doesn't happen that way. But where do you find good people? Where do you find people who can actually work with you, who can build with you? The answer is in communities. So over the past few years, I've been building communities. In fact, I've used this hall at least 50 times maybe 20 times, for community meetups. From DevFest to Women Tech Makers to Launchpad to my own Mixer events. I really, really, really believe in the power of communities to help you go forward. And so today I'll just very quickly glance through three of my favorite communities. The first, okay, not this community. Have you guys seen this show? Mid? Mid. This guy will not eat. You. you. This, is a, this is a fantastic show. Ten. No, not ten. Let's calm down. It's like eight. Like eight. Okay, okay 7.5. You know what? Next slide. Title. Who, who are these people? My favorite community are communities of people that share uh, vested interests and believe in each other and support each other. 
So this picture was taken at the Google developer space sometime in 2020. We had no idea the pandemic was coming. Everybody was so happy. We were even doing Wakanda forever. Excited and stuff. The next month, COVID came. But this community is essentially founders just like yourself. When I had the mandate to start Google Launchpad or to, to build out Google Launchpad in the continent, the question was, was I trying to run a program like every other program, another also ran? Or was I trying to find people who believed in the shared belief that if we work together collectively, we're stronger as a team? And that's Launchpad. The next community I'd like to show is PBN. Now, a few of us, interestingly, Bayo and Babajide and myself became close through PBN. PBN is a business network that started as a WhatsApp group two years ago. And we always used to tease ourselves that we are just a WhatsApp group. But the shared power of people who are committed to helping each other, one of the mantras of PBN, of the business network, is that you have to be helpful. You have to give more than you take. You know, if everybody believes in giving more than they take in, then ultimately we'll have a very useful community. And finally, the last community I'd like to highlight, Upsporting. Upsporting. Sorry, my Vuvuzela is in the car. But Sporting Lagos um, is a dream. Today, everybody sees Sporting Lagos as a football club. Sporting Lagos truly is a dream. And what I like to do every now and then is I go back to the founding video that Shola recorded in February of last year, where we're speaking about how do we create a community of people who believe in the power of youth, who are able to come together to find things that unite us. The country has been going through tough times with the election cycles that just went past us, and so much. We did not realize there was so much ethnic tribal bigotry. We didn't. I didn't. But Sporting Lagos came at a time that I feel was very needed to show that we're still a community at the end of the day. And so very quickly, I want to glance over what communities mean. A community, and I'll read this verbatim, is a group of individuals who share common characteristics, interests, values, or goals, and come together to form social connection and support systems. There's nothing about looking the same. Again, people assume that communities are made up of people who look like you, who sound like you, who think like you. No, it's really about your interests, which change over time. So for you to be part of a community, I implore you to please, please be open-minded, share the interests, and come together to form social connections and support systems. We oftentimes think of communities as this, a bunch of people holding hands and doing kumbaya. But in the reality, communities really look like this. And what it means is that you and your friends connect, and then you connect, and then you meet another group of friends, and you meet another group of friends, and you meet another group of friends. My favorite way of thinking about the world is I'm effectively six degrees of separation from anybody in the world. In Nigeria, it's probably three degrees of separation. Because you've come to this session today, because you know peace, you're probably two degrees of separation from anybody in African tech. That's how I like to think about communities, all right? There's five characteristics of communities, and I'm just going to glance and read them as we go. Shared identity, relationships and interactions, Communication and information sharing. We can't be in a community if you are tightening things to your chest. I see founders who reach out to me and say, hey, Fola, can we talk about my business? You know, I want to invest in them. I want to spend time. The first thing I do without fail, I don't know if I have any portfolio companies in the room. Do I have any portfolio companies in the room? Wow, I'm doing a terrible job investing. But the first thing I do without fail is I find five people who are in your space. And I tell you to go and set up meetings with them. Just gist. Take them out for drinks. Discuss how hard this sector is. That's what a community should be about. Information sharing. Support and collaboration. And ecosystem thinking. On this point about ecosystem, 
I wrote an article a few years ago. The article was called, Too Many Wise Men, Not Enough Fools. And the reason is, if you remember our first round of funding, the first round of funding is FFF, right? Right? Friends, families, and what? Fools. Friends, families, and fools. Fools are not just stupid people. Fools are people who truly, truly just like you and just believe in your business idea, regardless of if they think it's going to work or not. They're foolish. Fools are people who will test your product, even if it's buggy. Fools are people who will tell other people to use your product, even if they're not getting any money or any commission back. I think we oftentimes focus on the ideas and the builders, but we forget that a community is really an ecosystem made up of all of us, including the fools, including the evangelists, including the users, including the government, all surrounded and tied together with money, by the way. And so I implore you today, as you think about communities, can you go back one slide? Remember that tech startups are built inside tech ecosystems, and tech ecosystems are effectively communities, and everyone has a part to play. Thank you very much. My name is Chidi, and I'm a founder. I run a 3D visualization company. I would segue my question from <clears throat> the fact that the sessions that have most resonated with me are the, the chats with Bio and, and yours. I don't know what it is about the three of you. Maybe it's operations. I, 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 I run a company, but I think at the core of me, I'm an operator. Um, then you said something that you guys have something in common, the PBN. So my first question is, I would, if it's a camera conversation, I do not mind. How do I get into the PBN? I would like to get into the PBN. Then my second question is, I like how well structured your slides are. So this is more for the organizers and you as well. Do we also get access to the slides? Yours especially. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for resonating with the presentation. I took a long time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Very. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, this is, this, is, um, this is how most of my slides go. So yes, you can have it. If it makes any sense to you without the narration, fine. Um, PBN is Premier Business Network. Tayo is part of it, at least so if I do show of hands. Um, and I saw a couple of Benga, uh, Babajide, I'm trying to remember. The, any p other PBN members in the house? Yeah, there's like, yeah, there we go. There's like 10 people at least. So it's open to anybody who wants to join. I mean, it's, the criteria is a bit, there are a few things you have to check, but it's premierbn.com, I think. But if you search Premier, Premier is um, P-R-E-M-I-A, then business network. Pardon? So shall, you find it now, Google it yourself. Premier, is, the only difference is Premier is not like, it is not E-R at the end, it's I-A at the end, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone.